me I will never measure up Am I more than just the sum of every high and every low Remind me once again just who I am because I around my children let us pray together today is day one of our prayer season hope uh, we're gonna be around until the end every day we will answer the question what does this verse mean to me our verse for today is from the book of first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 why don't you take your Bible with you did you bring your Bible go get your Bible first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 and this is what it says. It's a very simple verse. It says, pray continually. It says, pray continually. In other words, pray without ceasing. Um, what does this verse mean to me? Did you know that God is everywhere? He's there with you, like you can find him everywhere. He's there with you when you're sleeping. He's there with you when you're woken up, when you're playing on the uh, playground, when you're talking to other people, God is there with you. 
And what does that mean? Is that you can talk to him at any time. We, when we pray, we are talking to our, to our heavenly father. And so we are asking him, we are talking to him, we are telling him about the things that we are doing. So when the Bible tells me that I am praying continually, it's not like I'm going to stop everything so that I can pray. No, no. I can talk to God at any time. I can be walking and then I'll be like, God, thank you that I'm able to walk. I can be sleeping. I say, God, thank you that I'm able to sleep. I can be eating. Like, thank you, God, that I'm able to eat. I can hit myself on the toe when I'm walking. I'm like, God, I've hit myself. Please heal me. You can talk to God at any time. As I said, we're going to be writing down some of the things that we learn from today's verses. And so this is what I want you to do. Why don't you take your notebook and then write the question. What are some things that you want to pray to God for during this season? What are some of, thing, uh, some of the things that you want to pray to God for during this season? You know, I'm going to share some of the things that I wrote earlier when I was doing my devotion. I said that I will pray for my father, that God will continue to keep him safe at home. And number two, I want to pray to God so that I will excel at all the things that he has given me for his glory. You know, and so uh, after we have written them down, have you written something down? Okay, then we bring these things to God in prayer. So we will mention each and everything, even as we are praying. You can do this with your family. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be awesome. And so why don't we take some time and pray? Put your hands together. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. I am trusting you for these things that I have written down. I know that you will answer me during this season or at your time. As I start these 40 days of prayer, give me strength, grow my faith, help me to pray at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for day one. See you tomorrow at 6.45 for day two.